just been doing some last minute shopping. We went to the mall, picked up a couple things there, and then we came to a health food store and grabbed a bite to eat. I got some things. What did I get actually? I think I got chickpea pasta, silk coffee creamer, and cinnamon tea. I'm so intrigued by this. It's like supposed to be a stress reliever tea, but it's cinnamon and licorice root. So I figured that could be a nice winter tea while I'm down here. It's the Monday before Christmas when I'm filming this and I cannot believe how busy it is. I guess so many people took the week before Christmas off. Also, I am wearing my mom's coat because I brought my puffer coat and I didn't have anything thin and the weather has been so mild lately. Shout out to my mom for having great pieces for me to pull out of her closet so that I'm not dying in heat when I'm in these stores because that is the worst thing about winter shopping is when you have like the big puffy coat theoretically for the cold weather that doesn't exist right now and then you're inside for a long amount of time you just start getting irritated so anyways that's that's what I'm doing wow I've never seen my soap comes in the most gigantic jug possible $90 oh my gosh I'd never run out of soap Today some really special gifts came in the mail for the kiddos in my family. This vlog's going up after Christmas, so it doesn't matter if this goes up. Okay, stay with me here. Look at how tiny this little sweater is. This is for my cousin Oakley. He is fresh. This is three to six months. Oh my god. This one's really cute. It's got little polar bears on it. Oh my goodness. He's gonna be so cozy with his little matching set. This is a beautiful sweater for my cousin Ella. I am like jealous because I feel like this would work for me as well. Got this great hoodie moment with sweatpants for my cousin Oren because he's a cool guy. He deserves some cool stuff. Look at the dress. I wish I owned this dress. Anyway, so I'm very excited about that, but I need to put all of their gifts into gift boxes so that I can actually wrap them properly. I think I'm gonna do this now or soon just so that everything's sorted. I'm also home alone completely right now, which never happens. I'm just kind of basking in it before people come in and invade the party. Vlogging when I am home is always such an interesting battle because as you know, if you've been on the channel for a bit, like I typically just keep this channel about me and you because that's, that's what I signed up for. A lot of people in my life didn't sign up for that, so I don't like to invade any privacy by bringing them on here or or even like I, I think too for me just to have some separation between life and online life even though there's so much that I put on the internet there's so much I keep off the internet and that is a way for me to feel like a real person that isn't just like always having to share for things to be real or valid or experiences that mean something because I think when you do experience something so meaningful, you want to share it, especially like highlights and good stuff that's happening in your life. You're like, oh, I just want to share this joy. Um, but I have found myself, you know, over the years really making sure I pull back on those moments sometimes just to make sure that that isn't something I'm like unconsciously just like doing out of habit. I want to be intentional when I share things. This is a very deep way of saying that uh, that's why you don't see people on camera a lot on my channel. This right here is the sweater I got my goddaughter. It has these cute little daisies on them and then of course had to get her a little bag to match because she's got places to go, people to see. And I found it adorable that this bag came with its own little dust cover. So, you know, when she's not using it, she has proper storage for it as well, which is adorable. Loving this. I feel like this is a very neutral bag, very practical for all of her outfits. So this holiday season my cousin and I were determined to make some Portuguese dishes that we always associate with this time of year because my grandmother typically is making them but my grandparents are in Portugal this year so it was up to us to get this train moving and it prompted a whole Portuguese cooking two-day adventure we had me my cousins my mom my aunt my uncle just all contributing in the kitchen and some of us trying out these recipes for the first time some of us you know being able to contribute their expertise on certain dishes aside from the fact that I felt 
felt so proud that we were all tapping into our roots and doing these dishes together because it's really i think important to carry these things on with generation to generation it also was just so much fun to spend time with them in this way it's probably my favorite memory from this holiday season give a little sprinkle sprinkle we are trying to get these vasoys all done and we got a lot a lot of the soys to do. And, and now we have to make tuna. And now we're making a tuna version. Pesce de bacalao. Sorry, Oakley is ruining your shot here. Okay, so Flour can go in. Just start with a little bit of the eggs and a little bit of the pumpkin. You can add extra eggs or water as required. Oh, we should get some water. Everyone who's wrong with me. <laughs> Take that. It is Christmas Eve and we've got gifts happening underneath the tree. Can we admire this wrapping paper that I picked up? All of my gifts to others are in this nutcracker paper that I got at HomeSense and it's just gorgeous. The pink ribbon I think goes really well. I've got my craft paper gift tag. I couldn't do craft paper for everything because I just have some really big gifts over here. And as we know that craft paper roll I picked up was tiny in comparison so had to get regular wrapping paper, but I love this print. It's just so fun and festive, looks hand-drawn, kind of almost has a handmade quality to it because of that. The seller who did the chicken, the crochet chicken pattern, came out with a rooster version. So I made this black one to look like a Galu de Barcelo. I'll include like a picture on the screen of what that is, but it's like a Portuguese symbol. But I also made a regular one. How cute is that? I am obsessed with that. I'm trying to figure out which one I'm gonna send to my grandparents in Portugal. My grandmother wants a chicken. I don't know, rooster, chicken, what to do, what to do, but I've been having fun crocheting those while I've been home. I also have to show you this puzzle that my mom worked on. It looks like a regular Christmas puzzle, right? But what's really special about this puzzle is it's actually an advent calendar. So every day, like a little square has been released that she's had to put together so this is what she's done over the course of 25 days it hasn't been like one a one go puzzle as you can see at the back of each puzzle is a number so even when you tear this apart you can put it back and redo the advent calendar another year or give it to someone else to do this right here is what it looks like so if you're looking for a creative advent calendar next year take note oh i didn't realize it came in little boxes like that that's so handy. Hold on, I'll show you. So you know exactly where they go. Mm -hmm. Cute, cute, cute. I woke up not that long ago, so I'm looking a little crazy. Yesterday was wild. We spent so much time, well, yesterday and the day before, doing a lot of Portuguese traditional recipes, as I mentioned, I'm sure, in the voiceover. But I was so tired yesterday because after all that, I still came home and had to roll out all of my cookie dough for gingerbread and sugar cookies and put it in the oven and then decorate all those cookies. So by the end of last night, I went into bed and I was so tired. Got a nice big batch of sugar cookies and look at the gingerbread. I kind of keep parchment paper between each layer to preserve the designs as much as possible But I have some really cute ones this year I really love this cookie cutter of the tree because it kind of looks a little bit more realistic Unlike the sugar and gingerbread cookies One thing I did do was freeze the dough for these brown butter chocolate chip cookies so that I can make them fresh for the day of when I take them So I think I'm gonna do like 8 to 10 today. I just love freezing cookie dough I know you can do this with gingerbread and sugar cookies. You can make them in advance and freeze them, but I think this is going to be delish. Here's the cookies you made. Oh, oh cashew. Oh, Caitlin made some cookies. The edges on this gingerbread tree. Okay, it's it. Copyright music. I know, copyright music. Okay. Yeah, love. Okay. When, when you have YouTubers in the family. It's a couple days after Christmas and Christmas Eve. I didn't get the most.
most amount of footage that I really want to share. I did capture a lot, but just more private memories, but it was such a beautiful time with my family. We had lots of games going on between Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. It was beautiful to see all of my little cousins open up their gifts. There's so many of them now that it's like a whole event and it's one of my favorite things just to watch them get excited about stuff and hearing what they got from Santa and all their favorite goodies. But I thought I'd show you some of the things that Santa brought me in my stocking. We're starting off with classic socks because this is just one of the best things you can get in your stocking cozy socks and these ones are so pretty i love cozy socks like this we're going to bed in during the winter i know like that's not everyone's cup of tea to wear socks to bed but when it's really cold this is the only thing that saves me so very excited about those also got an updated toque i don't have a cream one and i've been looking for one so this is perfect my stocking tends to be always super practical which i appreciate because it's nice to be restocked on the things that you love or that you need or that you use pretty daily. So I also got a new bottle of the Necessaire body wash. I think I've shown you guys the body lotion and the serum, but I do also really like this body wash. I think it has niacinamide in it. She said, yes, niacinamide, vitamin C, vitamin E, blah, 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 blah. This is the eucalyptus. If you wanna feel like you're in a spa, this is the scent you get, instant spa vibes. Also got some True Earth laundry strips. I love laundry strips for my laundry situation so that I don't have to lug around a heavy jug of detergent. Gonna come in handy. We always need clean clothes. I've mentioned how much I really like dry brushing. I'm not as consistent right now or these days as I used to be, so I need to kind of get back into it because this is amazing to do right before you take a shower. But it also had a body gua sha, which I've used the facial ones for my face, but I've never used on my body. So I'm gonna have to watch a video on like what the techniques are when you're doing the body, what areas to focus on, could be fun. Got a new tongue scraper too. I haven't been doing tongue scraping for a bit, be mostly because my tongue scraper is looking gross. So it's like Santa could read my mind. Got a new tongue scraper. This is so good after I have a coffee too. I hate the aftertaste of coffee. This really helps remove that. I don't know if you can hear in the background in the rain. It's coming down. Wow. And then of course we do get some fun things because it's not all all practical. <laughs> One of which is a pop socket in probably my favorite Disney princess, which I don't think would be a shock to anyone, is Belle. And she's reading in her beautiful pink dress with a little book. There's a stack of books there too. I don't think you can really see through the package. I think me and her would have a lot to talk about. I'd love to know what kind of books she likes to read. I'll add that to my bookshelf. It'll be a cute decorative touch. This was technically a gift, not in my stocking. It is a Gilmore Girls at Home in Stars Hollow children's book. This is so adorable. Gilmore Girls was my, one of my favorite shows growing up. I watched it over and over before it was cool to like Gilmore Girls. I know there's kind of a resurgence of it these days, but I was into it before. It was cool, okay? You got the Inn, Dookie, of course, classic Luke, Lorelai, Rory. So precious, I adore it. Oh, Richard and Emily's house. I mean, how great is this? I know I'm 26, but always love a good children's book and I'll save this, you know, to maybe read to any cousins that come by my home or future kids, but I just thought this was so beautifully done. Kid me would have been all over it. I really hope that you guys had a beautiful holiday season. I'm gonna be spending a little bit more time at home, which I'm looking forward to. Again, staying very present. This is one of the only times a year where I come home for this length of time and feel like I'm back with my family again. It's a really special time. So I always cherish it every single year. Hopefully this vlog was somewhat entertaining, even though it was kind of like a arrangement of a lot of random clips from what I can remember. I think I may be taking next week off to just kind of give myself a little bit of a buffer period. So I will see you in 2024. I hope you have a wonderful time celebrating the new year with your loved ones. And we're we're gonna have a good time next year. I'm looking forward to all the all the stuff we get up to. I'm gonna go brave this rain storm now so wish me luck Ooh. also the reason i'm kind of talking low is because my brother is still asleep in his bedroom one of the perks of vlogging at home is thinking about other people i'm not living alone right now gotta be considerate anyways what's up these little helpers we make the wheels go round day and night night and day here in christmas town we're santa's little helpers and it's us you want to know if you want to date under the Santa's little helpers, when we make all the toys, the trinkets for the girls and the trucks for the boys. We're Santa's little helpers, and we know every trick 